Hi guys, it's Peter again and thanks for subscribing to my channel. So today I'm going to be telling you what the differences are with my job with the social distancing, how it affects me as a flight attendant. Whatever I say now is from my point of view. I'm not standing representing any other flight attendant right now. Now we all know how security checkpoints can be in Atlanta. Atlanta is known to be the one of the world's busiest airport. And each time you see so long queues and so many things going on. But now I tell you guys, it's free. There's nobody at the airport. So you just go through. So you don't have to plan ahead of time like, oh, you might get stuck going through the airport. It's all free down there. However, our social distancing affected me personally with my job. Before, when I have a flight and um, I get to the gate agent, we talk. That's your first point of contact. You're trying to like, oh, what's going on? How have you been, girl? How have you been, boy? You know. But now you realize that nobody wants to talk with you like that anymore. It's like straight to business and just, you know, step back. You know, <laughs> get out of my space right now. So we're doing that. The gate agent just talks to you. Go straight to business. We take the papers or whatever it is. And now you're meeting people you're flying with. This is one of the hardest parts for me because... As a flight attendant, you don't fly with the same people every day. You might have flown with someone for the last past five months and you fly with the person again on the same trip. And now imagine you seeing someone, a friend of yours that you've flown with for a while, now seeing them now, you want to give them a hug, you want to like, you know, do a little bit of things together. But because of social distancing, we could only smile to each other. The best we could do right now is that and that. You know, all that together has made it like it's trained um, relationship in terms of a good communication. However, now, so getting on the plane, what do we do? Hold on, I'll show you what it looks like. You take your mask because you're trying to be safe. Mask on. And gloves. My gloves are not trying to fit right now. <laughs> okay, I think I got it in. Gloves in. And this is what it looks like, guys. See, you'd be surprised that most passengers right now come on the plane like this. So it's either mask on or mask off. I like mask off. Because it just makes me um, breathe better. <laughs> So, I don't know how people do it under this, but I understand the fact that we're all trying to stay safe, guys. We're all trying to stay safe out there. So, most passengers now come on the plane with that, with the mask, the gloves. And we flight attendants are now allowed to have ma um, gloves on. I think some of us are allowed to wear um, the, the mask. I'm not sure, but I know that some of us are allowed to do that. So, doing that doing that after all this you get on the plane and you know try to get ready for the passengers to come on board and they come on board with all the masks coats and everything on and now the flight seems so long before now it was easier because now if you have like an hour 45 minutes flight by the time you put your car together by the time you serve drinks asking to passengers talking to somebody the flight's moving so fast but now, we discontinued service, taking the cart out and everything was discontinued. So that way, you're just stuck sitting down. And God help you, you have crew that you not that don't like you or don't talk to you, you'll be miserable. <laughs> so it's, it's made the flight so long. So an hour, 30 minutes flight now for flight attendants can tend to look like a three hour flight because you're just there doing nothing. So I've missed that part of making my time go so fast now time just seems to go so slow another thing see, I, I wrote things down so I don't forget another thing that I feel that is our interaction with passengers it's been shortened but now nobody wants to talk to you like it's just like they sit down the best they do to you right now is smile so those little things I miss those little things I, I feel like the things we took for granted at that time but with the social distancing now we now realize the fact that being away from people, the six feet away is, it's a strain on some things. 
So guys, personally, those are the differences I've realized and I've noticed. If you guys have any other ones that you want to put, put them in the comment below. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And guys, stay safe. Wash those hands. Wash those hands. You know, and social distance and six feet apart. No parties right now, guys. Or you can party on Zoom or something. <laughs> or on Instagram. And if you guys like, you can still keep this mask on. I'm trying to put it on. Alright. Bye, guys. And I'll talk to you later. Thanks for subscribing to my channel.